before we get into this video please subscribe to my channel click the bell notification button and please like this video as well hey everybody welcome back to my youtube channel as you guys have seen by the title of today's video today i am filming a shopping haul for you guys because if you have been subscribed for a while you know that i do film a lot of shopping hauls because I do love spending my money and I am always skinned because whenever I get paid and I'm just like I just want to spend my money. However, today I'm going to do a haul for you guys because you know I, I did buy a few things and I thought I would make a video out of it. Also today is absolutely roasting like I am sweating. All the windows are open so if you guys can hear like any noise or any cars or anything I apologise. I live on a busy and noisy road so that is why you'll hear all the noise in the background. However, without further ado, let's go on with the little shopping haul. The first shop I went into was actually... I don't actually know which shop I went into. Yeah, Superdrug. So firstly, I bought a Bondi Sands tan in the shade Medium as I have um, used this before and it smells of coconuts. It, Oh, honestly, this stuff actually smells beautiful, and it was fourteen pounds for a fake tan. It is so pricey. However, I wore this on my prom, and I was obsessed with it. And I needed a new tan as I will be going on a date soon with my boyfriend Scott, so I needed some tan. And also, I bought a pair of. The Tatty Lashes in number TL4 for me. These eyelashes are now in Superdrug. Honestly, this brand of eyelashes are my favourite. I wear them all the time and these were 9 45 So kind of pricey, but the quality of these eyelashes are so nice. And there's also some glue in here as well. That is pretty handy, but the packaging of these lashes is so nice and I have had these before and they are super pretty eyelashes. So I will be all stalled up for my little date now. So that is what I bought in Superdrug. And then I went into B&M and if you know me, you will know that I am obsessed with all the cleaning stuff in there, like the Fabuloso sprays. So I did buy a Fabuloso spray in Electrify and this smells so good. I can't even get it open. Oh, there we go. This stuff smells so nice. I'm gonna spray some. Oh, I can't smell it. Oh, it smells so nice and it is a all-in-one anti-back spray. I do have these in the Sherbet Lemon and the Rhubarb already, but this one smells so nice and that like, kind of smells of a perfume as well it is also vegan so no animals are killed in the process of making the spray which is very very good oh i can taste that spray now oh so, but it does smell so nice and oh my god these sprays are so good and it was around one pound forty so it is a bargain for that. I then went into home bargains and bought some some vinyl gloves as I need them for the makeup application like eyebrow waxing for my clients and myself and everything so I bought these and for 20 in each pack it was 79p so it is an excellent bargain and I wore these in the heat and my hands were sweating it was so bad I love these a lot so I bought them. There's a noisy car outside that is fun. This is why a noisy road isn't great for filming. It's just so much noise I apologise. So bit so I did order a few items off Fover in May and these items have only arrived like now so i ordered a new phone case i did get a louis vuitton the pastel phone case as they actually brought out a pastel range and this phone case is beautiful and i found it on Fover for like five pounds and oh my god it is super pretty when i first opened it like it reeked of glue like it was so horrible like it was vile um 
have for now. Um, like smells okay, and it is super pretty. So there we go. And I also off over. I bought Dior sunglasses, but they are far too big for my little pea head. They say Dior on the side there and on the other side, and also on there as well. But these are absolutely huge for my tiny pea head. You'd be able to see. I mean, come on. <laughs> They're too big. They are a lovely fit on my ears, but they look way too big for my little face though. But I like them a lot. And his phone case is so cute as well. I'm obsessed with it. And then I did order an SD card reader for my MacBook Air. Here it Here's my MacBook Air. It's just here. It's just like a rose gold one. Super pretty. As there's no SD card port in the MacBook Air, which is super, super, super annoying. So I bought one off eBay for £11 and it is a multifunction card reader. It has the SD card reader, the micro SD card, and it's also got another one which I, I don't know. Extreme something. So cool though. And I haven't actually opened it up yet, so let's have a look at what it is. Okay, so here it is. Wait a minute. Okay. Cool. Okay. I, I like that a lot. And the USB port in the MacBook Air is a USB C port. So there it is. But it'll be really handy for exporting onto my, onto my laptop now. So that's what I bought off eBay. It is really boring, I know but it is a really handy piece of equipment to have with you. So that is what I bought as well. And then finally, the boring part of the haul is a lever arch file for my college work in September. So here it is. It is a kind of like a whiny kind of colour. Um, it's like it'd be handy to have for my college work and then I did also buy some of the file dividers as well a 12 pack for a pound I think so it's a proper bargain so I forgot something actually I also bought a 100 pack of tea lights um, for, for, my Max, for my wax burner um, 100 for £2.50 so that is a proper good bargain there but yes yeah, so here it's my shopping haul. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed it. I know it wasn't the most interesting haul you've, you've, you've ever seen, but everything in this haul is really useful for me and I will use them a lot and they are really, really, really handy. But anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this little shopping haul. If you did, you know what to do. Make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment down below, and please also subscribe to my channel because I'd love to hit 4K by the 31st of October. We need to make it happen. So if you are new, please subscribe. It would really mean the world. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everybody.